Hello guys! Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if not, welcome back. I'm so excited for this video. I've done a lot of like swatch and reviews in the past, but this one I like I cannot wait to share with you guys. I was really excited to do this one. Um, and even more so because it's a collaboration with a YouTube artist. Yes, this is the Nicole Guerrero times Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and it is as stunning as stunning can get. I know there are a lot of reviews out and stuff like that, but there aren't very many with swatches on Cocoa Girls, and I want to be there to make sure I represent all of you ladies if you do want to purchase and get this product. So if you want to see all the swatches, I'm going to try it on my face for the first time. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little rundown first. I'll, I, there's like lash glue sticking, like when I blink. Anyway, so let me give you my little rundown first. This palette, people, okay? This palette is $40, cruelty free. Everything that the Anastasia Beverly Hill brand stands for, it is absolutely, utterly lovely. 40 beans, can't beat it. And when I open it up and I count, okay, okay. <laughs> There are six of these, okay? Okay? That is, let me do the math. Let's get a calculator here. Let's get it. Um, so if we have $40 worth of product divided by six highlighting palettes, that is $6.60 a highlight kit, okay? And just so you know, for so we can do grams of product as well, just to kind of do a comparison, it is 0.16 ounces of each, so that is not that far, do I have something to compare? I don't, but it is not that far off, like a single one, from some of these 20 to $30, if not $40 highlights that we've been paying for. So you get six of these in here for 40 bucks. If you have a pro card with Anastasia Beverly Hills, you can order it on her website. These are all still available. It is limited edition, but it is still available. You can get it on her website for 35% off pro card members. So I think you get the entire palette for $26, I believe is the price. Something magical and amazing like that. Like, you really can't beat that price. But, guys, this is a super universal palette. Like, Nicole Guerrero killed it. She played so well to so many different skin tones and the mix and match. I mean, you can cocktail some crazy stuff with this. Especially this guy down here that's forever lit. You can mix that with any one of these to make it lighter for our pale skin girls. You can mix some of these darker ones and these peachy tones for the most amazing flush of color for my cocoa to chocolate girls. Like, it is just... A gorgeous palette I absolutely love it so I received it a little bit over a week ago and I went straight to Instagram and I did my you know fun little swatch on the arm I uh, did it for Twitter and for Instagram it got really good feedback everybody really loved it so I was like I just want to bring it to you guys and let you see it you know kind of in the flesh in the moment on um, the video but let's just do so you guys can see just what I'm talking about here okay I'm gonna switch sides but I'm gonna do a little one of these God, that is beautiful. Then that's the most gorgeous champagne. Like, okay, okay, okay. Need a makeup wipe. I was not at all prepared. No, I was, but I just am never still. I'm still in shock every time I see it because that's just. I, I think this palette is. <laughs> It's just goody yumminess. It's pink. It's glam. It's peach. It can go in any time of the year. It is so stunning. It's super girly. Feminine. I even wore my pink, like my ode to pink, today when I decided to film it. I apologize if my voice sounds a little crazy. I am like, I'm sick. Shocking. Uh, yeah, so our names for these, by the way, this beautiful hot pink we got up here is Kitty Cat. We have Forever Young, which is our beautiful ballerina shade of pink. We have our Daydream, which is our peachy, our coral, our summer glow. We have Forever Lit, which is our really bright white pearlescent finish. We have Glow Getter, which I believe might be my personal favorite. That's that delicious champagne I just swatched once on the finger. Then we have 143. My guess is that's her area code of where she grew up or where she lives now. My guess. I'm not 100% sure, um, but it is kind of like that, mm, like that rich, it's the deeper version of Glow Getter, like that rich, true, like bronzy champagne. Bronze and champagne had a baby, and then they made this, a little 143. So it is, oh, 
Mm. I can't stop looking at it. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. So here's the picture of the swatches that I did for Instagram, and I just thought they looked absolutely stunning. I was really impressed with how buttery and creamy the formula was. The texture is so wonderful. I am going to use my brush today. I have my Morphe M510, and I am going to swatch it on the, um, uh, the face. Uh, where else am I going to swatch it? I'm going to swatch it on my face with the brush, and then I will give you my arm swatches as well. And I just want to know your guys' feedback. I want to know what you guys think about this palette, because I am a true believer that this palette is a wonderful addition and collection to the Anastasia Beverly Hills brand. And I think, Nicole Guerrero, this is, like, one of the best collabs I've seen yet. I always feel really, like, proud. You know, because isn't that the dream? Isn't that some of the end goal is to be able to collab with some of these, like, worldwide, international brands? And you see someone finally, like, get that to come true, and you're like, wow, okay, pretty darn cool. But then, to keep the same quality of the product in there, that Anastasia does in the rest of her stuff. Like, it's not different. It's not a different formula. They, they stay true to the product, you know, throughout. I just, you know, I think that that's the true believing of a collab. It's just the true making of a stunning collaboration. So what color am I going to use? I wanted to shoot like a full face um, first impressions with a color I haven't touched yet, but I, I always talk about Glow Getter, so I'm just going to use that one. So I'm just going to pick that up with my brush, as you guys can see me doing here. We're going to tap off any excess, and then I'm going to look right here in my viewfinder, and we're just going <laughs> to... Okay... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, don't be fooled. If it did look like I had a little highlighter on before, I did. If many of you know on my channel, I always take the Super Shock Cheek highlights, the, like, creme plush ones from ColourPop and I put that as a base and press it into the skin of the Beauty Blender and then I always put my powder highlight on top. Clearly this didn't need it either way. Holy macro. But um, it's just like a habit that I have. So if you're wondering, mm, yes, I'm, I'm feeling fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And look how much I just amped up and brightened my look. Like, I'm, I'm alive. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. Wow. <laughs> but yes, that is stunning. So that's the only one I've used on the face so far. And I will mix two maybe when I do my full face impressions. So whatever, whatever. Yeah, that is absolutely stunning. So I want to give you the swatches on the arm so you guys can see the texture and the, obviously the shade range. So here they are. Spinning. I believe that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I gave you all the rundown. I hope that I did my usual sort. But yeah, 40 bucks. You can get it at Sephora.com. It is still available. You can also get it at AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com. It goes great with the Morphe M501 Anastasia's number 28 brush, I believe, as well. A fan brush probably also gives a really beautiful flush. Totally your preference and choice. You can spray a little Mist and Fix or Fix, fix Plus first to give it that really awesome glow amp it up a little bit but this palette is where it's at kids i totally i believe you know when i believe in something i believe in something like i <laughs> i believe in the nicole guerrero highlighting kit glow kit there it is so yeah i just hope you guys loved and enjoyed that uh, congratulations, Nicole DeGrao. I'm so proud. She's one of the first YouTubers, her, Jaclyn Hill, Carly Bible, Dulce, that I started watching and really being like, wow, I, I can do that, you know? So it's nice to see it come full circle and really obviously see that goal come to fruition, come to life. I think it's incredible. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think of the palette and leave your comments and fun things down below. I love you all so much and I will talk to you guys soon, okay?